cool, cool. Yes, yes, sir. Um, so George, July 22nd, um, this training camp. What are you gonna? What changes do you have to make to so we can get back that George Combosos we saw the night that he became undisputed world champion? Well, you can say it already now. You can see that that hunger, that vision. I'm away from any distractions. I'm sacrificing. When I sacrifice, I always bring out this this more relentless hunger out of me. You know, when you're in your comfort zone and you're comfortable a little bit as much as you're training like an animal, always train like an animal. You still have that comfortability. I go home, I'm comfortable in my house, I'm comfortable with my kids and family here. I'm going home to, you know, makeshift house that the team's living in. We're watching fights, we're starting fights. If we come up with something, we go in the backyard, we start working, you know. Mm -hmm. So this is 24-7 war zone, this is 24-7, you know. Sacrificing for hard work in July 22, yeah. I'm back. Are you watching fights in general or some of your Everything. best performances to... Everything. We're watching more fights, we're watching more losses, more wins. We're watching uh, Maxi Hughes' fights. We're watching everything. Old fights. Yeah. Everything. Any bit of boxing. We love the street science. In our team, we don't... This is not like a, an effort. This is not something that oh, we have to do. We love the street science. This is something we want to do. We don't need to, but we want to. He's coming, in, he's coming into this fight um, with good rhythm, uh, a winning streak. Um, he has five losses, but he's, he's a tough out, man. If, if you get too comfortable, um, he's the type of guy that can upset you, you know? Yeah, well, um, I'm gonna upset him too. You know, I know he's coming in with this seven five win streak against guys that I've never really heard of. Um, so it's okay, whatever he's coming in with, it's, it's no problem. I'm coming in, look at my, just, my last three fights, what I'm coming in with. Yeah. Like I said, don't worry about the wins and losses, just look at the names. Even go prior to that, the last five. Hey, Selby, you Selby, was the number one lightweight in Britain. If you're still around, you still be the number one lightweight. So I took him out and then uh, Teofimo Lopez, let's see, a Titan, you can call it, Undisputed, whatever, Lineal, whatever you want to call it. And then Devon Aini, who's a hell of a fighter. So. Yeah. We've got our own experience, let's call it that. Uh, and I love fighting South Force, man. Yeah. We all know the history of me, me and a, a special South Force, so... You know, I don't even want to fight orthodox guys, I want to fight Southpaws because I know there's a lot in the division, so bring them on. Um, speaking of Teofimo, that's obviously your career best performance. Yeah. Um, did you get a chance to see his, his, his fight uh, about a week ago? Yeah, look, it was a great great performance, great fight. Again, I see the little mistakes. People will criticize me and say whatever, but I see the mistakes again in, in, the, uh, in the Taylor fight. Um, he's a guy that steps heavy on that front foot, like I called him. you got to take that confidence away from him. So, um, Unfortunately, Josh, yeah, didn't, didn't stick to a game plan and couldn't take that confidence. And Lopez was, was doing his thing. Once you let him in his groove, he knows how to fight. He knows how to have fun. And when he's having fun and he's enjoying himself in the ring, that's when he's most dangerous. And you got to take that away from him, like uh, a certain somebody. So, all respect to both of them. You know, at the end of the day, me and Lopez, as much as there's bad blood and there'll never be peace between us, um, there is still, on my side, a bit of a respect. I don't know about this side, but on our side, there is a respect there for him. So, congrats. And again, Josh Taylor. You know, I know Josh personally, and um, he's a good guy. He'll bounce up to another division and then do great things. Getting past Maxi Hughes, obviously, uh, being under the same prom promotional banner, um, is that rematch something that you feel is necessary for your career or his career? Or in terms of a rematch, where do you stand with Tafima Lopez? Man, yeah, yeah, of course, man. Like I said, my, my full focus is on Maxi Hughes. I'm not worried about nothing else. You've got so many big names out there. Mm -hmm. yeah, we got me and Lomachenko, which was nearly done, that makes a lot of sense. We did that in Australia, the 60,000. Uh, you know, me and Tank, style was great shooter. Me and Shakur, absolute great fight. And me and the rematch is with Fumo. But mm -hmm. I don't know, has he vacated that belt? What's he done? Is he retired? I don't know. So, I'm not sure. Um, he's, he's, a... got, he's got his own money now, so he's yeah. the best to him. And uh, you know, like I've always said to him, you know, I wish, he, wish him all the best outside of boxing. Uh, he's got a young kid. I'm a family man, so. And I always respect with that, and hopefully that, that works out. Yeah, um, how do you get back to that um, George Combosos uh, uh, to the, have that kind of performance that yeah. captivated the, the boxing fans, you know? It's here. It's never really left. We've just been able to add more feeling to it, more, more sacrifice, more focus, more vision. Like I said, don't, don't judge me on, on, on a guy who basically stalls my fights. Devin is a great fighter, stalls my fights, and he, was, he had my number. Just like I believe I have Lopez's number and, and these other guys. Certain fights just match up with the style. So um, that ferocious Cambodian is, is still here, but it's better than ever. It, it, it's advanced. It's added more artillery to it, more focus, more vision. And um, like I said, I've achieved a lot in the sport. I don't need to really do this. 
I want to do this. I love fighting. I'll fight for the day, you know. Mm -hmm. I'll use my, my air and my heart stop beating. Yeah. I'll fight Last thing regarding Tofima, what do you feel about his uh, uh, two division, an undisputed two division world champion claim? I know Derek James kind of, he kind of felt that is valid. Uh, some people didn't. Uh, how do you feel it's, about it? You know, it, it's a tricky one because I know the fans get upset. And again, I got the same validation. Some people say undisputed, some people say unified. Um, I know ESPN has it as undisputed. Oh. Other guys don't have it as undisputed. WBC does. So. You know, it is what it is, you know. But the best fight, the best. When I look at my cabinet, I see five beautiful belts sitting there. <laughs> um, and that's, uh, that, that's, that's, that's what makes me happy. Yeah. And again, same as Tiafimo. Look, he beat, you know, Josh Taylor, who was a former under He did vacate the belts, but he vacated them for a reason. Um, so, yeah, he can make that claim. But, you know, I can mm -hmm. make whatever claim, he can make whatever claim. The fan behind the camera who, who's never had a fight in their life, who never stepped inside a boxing, he can make a claim as well. Um, it is what it is. Who are you going to believe? You know? um, last thing, uh, you were wearing some no boxing, uh, no life gloves, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Can Canelo's trainer's brand. Um, are you going to wear those gloves come fight? No, I'll be wearing Grants for this fight. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm looking forward to wearing the Grants, but again, a lot of respect. I wore the no boxing, no life gloves for the last fight. I mm -hmm. train in them. I, I, I love the gloves, fantastic gloves, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, we're excited to, to fight in Grants for this fight. We're the best fighters in the world wear Grants and... Uh, and I'm amongst the best fighters of all so. Cool, last what thing, you um, what, what is your um, your take on the big news yesterday? Um, Canelo signing a three deal with PBC and uh, his potential fight in opponents with like Jamal Charlo, David Benavides, oh, or yes. even Errol Spence, you know? Yeah, it's good, man. Look, uh, when you look back a few months ago with, with our home and what he's been able to, to do and to achieve um, with the whole PBC and, and the whole team over there, it's great, man. great for boxing. Um, they got the, the Spence Crawford fight a week after mine. Yeah, you know, they picked up Canelo, so it's huge, huge mm -hmm. news. And uh, like I said, I'm a massive fan of Canelo. You know, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of respect there, and you know, I'm excited to see who, who the official opponent is. For some reason, who knows? It might be someone. They might switch. It might be Benavides next. You know, everyone's yeah. stuck on on Jamal uh, Jamal Chubb, right? mm -hmm. but it could all of a sudden switch to someone else. So let's see. Yeah, cool. Thank you, George. Appreciate the time. Marcus.